space away from your body. And as you inhale, raise your arm. Join your palms together. And as you exhale, bring them to heart center. Release the hands. Inhale, raise the arm. Palms together. Exhale and return to heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And now from here, stand with your feet joined together. Raise your right arm by your ear. Keep it straight and lean to the left side. Think of reaching your right fingers up tall as you push the heel of the right foot down. You can gaze towards your right arm and increase the stretch. Hips are square and forward. Coming back up, you'll lower, switching sides. Inhale, left arm by the ear. Exhale, over, lean, pushing the heel down and looking towards the arm to deepen. Inhale and exhale. One more to each side. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale over. A lateral stretch. Breathe. Come back to stand. Left arm up. Right by the ear. Exhale over to the right. Breathe. Inhale and lower down. Separate your legs a little wider than hip width apart. Hands behind your back. Clasp your fingers. Expand through your chest and let your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Bringing your head up, let your left ear fall to your left shoulder. Bring the head up again and now hinge forward from the hip. Stop parallel to the floor, to the mat. Weight should be in the heels, toes should be light. From here, keeping the weight in the heels, stand tall. Give me a gentle back bend. If you need, support your back, hands in the wall of the back. Otherwise, hands slide down towards the legs. Inhale, exhale up again. See if you can bring your arms over your head and let your head drop down. You can always bend the knees if you need. Come back up, slight bend in the knees or straight legs, and exhale back in. Inhale and exhale forward. Breathe again, possibly arms over the head. Inhale, you raise. And exhale, back bend. Now we're going to change. So as we stand tall, I want you to open your feet apart and release your hands. You're going to bring your knees to bend and the knees track over the toes and come back up. Now we're going to start to get into some more movement. So bring the arms down, sweep them up. Take them down and up. Breathe and lift. Now keep your back nice and straight. Keep going. Keep your abs in. And again, the weight is in your heels. So I want you to feel those thighs. From here, you're going to go up to the right side. So it's down, lean to the right, down, switch to the left, down, lean to the right, down, lean to the left. For four, and open, three, you're breathing, two, control, last one, and come back to center, straight up, one more time, down, straight up, hands on your thighs, and hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, wake up the thighs, four, three, two, hold it here and lunge side to side. See if you can lift the toes of the extended leg. Some of you might move your hands down to the mat. If you need or prefer, keep your hands on your thighs. Breathe. Nice full breaths, and the next time you're over to the right, I want you to hold it there. Stay
stay here, feel the stretch. Maybe your right heel's down, maybe you have your toes up. Flex your foot, hold, look towards the foot, breathe. Coming up, switch to the other side. Same thing, foot could be flat or maybe you're up onto the left toes, but flex your right foot, look towards your right foot, and breathe. Coming back to the center, hands are down, toes are forward, and bring your knees right to your mat. Step your left foot forward, lunge into that knee, shift your weight back. Lunge into the knee, shift your weight back, squeeze your right glute, and now give me a pump right here. Breathe. Abs in, chest up, and you're breathing. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shift the weight back, lift those toes, flex the foot, hold. Shift the weight forward. Come into downward dog. Pedal out the feet. Inhale, bend one knee. Exhale, bend the other. Breathe. Switch sides and step the right foot forward. Lower the left knee down. Make sure it's behind you. Lean forward. Shift the weight back. Lean forward. Shift the weight back. And now I want you to squeeze in that back glute and shift forward and back. So squeezing in the left glute, chest is lifted. You have six, five, four, three, abs in, two, and one, shift the weight back, lift the toes, flex the foot hold. Coming forward and stepping back to downward dog again. Pull the hips all the way back, pedal those feet, and this time turn your head side to side and look underneath each arm, moving back and forth. As our bodies now are starting to warm, Building a little heat. We're going to continue to build that heat. Both heels down. Look to your hands and step forward. Release over the legs and inhale halfway for light. Exhale, lower, bend the knees and raise the arms to chair or to katasan. Bringing the hands behind you to ski pose. Chest is lifted, pose are light. Return back to chair pose. Shoulders are down. Press to stand and exhale to that soft back. Back bend. Inhale, hands, heart center. Exhale. Inhale, we raise one dive, exhale down. Inhale, halfway, and exhale lower, stepping back to plank. From here, though, I want you to hold the plank and lift the hips high, and then bring the hips forward. Lift the hips high to downward dog, head between the arms deeply, and then forward to plank. Four more like that. Make sure your abs are in your breathing. You have three. Nice full breaths. Two. Controlling. Last one. And you're going to lower all the way down. Coming into your upward dog cobra, sweeping through and back to downward dog. Looking towards your hands, step or walk forward again. Release over the legs and inhale halfway. Lower down, bend the knees, raise the arms to chair. With Katasana and hands to heart center. Take your left elbow outside or towards your right knee in twisted chair. Bring the arms back in front to chair pose. Press to stand and exhale, soft back bend. Inhale, hands heart center and exhale. Inhale, we raise one dive, exhale down. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, lower. 
Stepping back to plank pose again. You're going to hold. This time you're going to bend. Bring your knees close to the mat and sit your tail back and then push forward. Back and push forward. Four more here. You're breathing. And exhale. Three. Pull those abdominals in. Last two. Control. You're going to feel the quads as well. Come forward, hold, and lower down. Come into your upward dog, cobra. And back to downward dog, hips high. From here, go to plank again and drop the heels to the left. And then bend the knees, bring the left hip close to the mat, and press out. Down, hip close to the mat, and press out. For four, arms are working, abs are working. Three, we're breathing. Two, last one, you're going to come up. Heels come up, drop to the right, do it again. Six, now my right hip is closer to the mat. Five, shooting back and forward. Four, abs are in, I'm breathing. Three, controlling. Two, last one. I'm going to come up and center, bringing my hips high to downward dog and looking to my hands as I step or hop to my hands. Inhale halfway for lightning bolt and exhale lower. Bending the knees and raising the arms to chair again, hands together, twisting to the other side. Right elbow outside the left knee, three in. Toes are light, arms forward extend and press to stand. Exhale, soft back bend. Inhale, hands heart center, exhale. Inhale, we raise, one dive, exhale down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lower, step or hop to your plank. Lower yourself down. Upward dog, cobra sweeping through. Downward dog. From here, you're going to come forward to plank. Sit right back to the heels. Go forward to plank again if you can. Give me a push up. And push back. Forward to plank. Push up. And push back. You can always leave the push up out if you need. We're going for six. So halfway. Back. Breathe. Press up. Two. Abs in. Strengthening. Stay with me. And downward dog. Hips high. Forward to plank. Lower down all the way. Upward dog. Cobra. Downward dog. Gazing through your hands, step or hop forward. Release over the legs, inhale halfway. Lower down, bend the knees, pick up your hand weights, and come to, into your chair pose. Chair pose, bring your elbows in front of you, chest is lifted, legs are squeezing, and you curl. 11, squeeze at the top. 10, you don't have to use hand weights. 9, exhale, curl. 8, toes are light. 7, you're breathing. 6, 5, 4, good control. 3, exhale, 2, last one. The weights come down, and you're going to just stand up. Separate your feet apart, and we're going to squat arms forward, stand arms back. Inhale, exhale. Nice rhythm. Modify instead of the arms forward in a front raise. You can do a bicep curl and the tricep extension back. Nine, more important weights in the heels. Eight. Chest is up. Seven. Six. 
five, four, three, two. Last one, you're staying standing. Waist over the feet, flat back hinge. Then at the knees, put the weights down. Step or hop back. Lower down. Upward dog, cobra. Downward dog. Hold here. Forward to plank. Left hand under the left shoulder. Feet drop to the left side, plank. Raise the arm high, breathe. Lifting up that left underside. Modifying left knee down. Chest opens. Four. Maybe gaze up. Three. Two. Back to plank. Other side. Heel shift. One foot in front of the other. Hand under the shoulder. Stack the feet. More challenging. Separate even more challenging. Put your knee down to modify. Maybe gaze up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Four, lifting the underside, right underside, and back to your plank. Lower down. Upward dog cobra, downward dog. Inhale, right leg raises towards the ceiling. Hold it. Drop the left heel, lift. Drop the left heel, lift. Drop, lift, hold. Bend and straighten the right leg. Head between the arms. Breathe. Bend the knee, hold, possibly rotate the hip open, looking underneath the shoulder, possibly seeing the foot in your vision. Bring the hip down if you rotate it and lower the foot. Switch, inhale, left leg high. Drop the right heel, lift the heel. Drop the right heel, lift the heel. Drop the heel, lift the heel. Lift the heel, hold, bend, and extend the high leg. Bend, and extend the left leg. Breathe. Bend and hold, and possibly rotate the hip open. Maybe see the foot in the vision, underneath the right arm. Bring the hip down. This time, though, step the left foot forward. Pick up your hand weights if you need. Step both feet forward. High lunge, bring it up. So you may step both feet forward. Bring the back knee under the hip, chest up, weights in my left heel. I'm going to lunge down, and when I come up, I'm going to go into a side raise. I can have bent elbows or straight arms. And I'm breathing. Abs are in, and I'm controlling. Four to go. Four. You got this. Three. Two. Last one. And now I'm going to hold it. From here, bringing my weights together, I'm going to step my foot forward, rotate towards the front knee, back to center, and into a lunge. So I'm going to step forward, trying to stay low, turn to the left, center, and down deeper. Up, I'm squeezing my left quad, my weight's in my left heel, and I'm down. Up, twist, center, and down. Six, twist, center, down. Five, twist, center, good. Four, twist, center, breathe. Three, twist, center, down. Two, twist, center. My left leg is firing. One, twist, center, and hold. I'm going to bring my weights down. Lift my chest and drop my back heel. 
now raising my arms, I'm in warrior one as I breathe. Toes are light on my left foot and I soften my shoulders. Right hand on my back, right thigh. And I'm gonna exhale back to reverse warrior. Windmill around, all the way to the mat. Taking my right hand inside of the left foot, stepping the left foot back and going to side plank. Opening, lift the hips up and down. Exhale, inhale. I can have my knee down if I need. Breathing for six, five, Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna come into plank and lower down. Upward dog cobra and downward dog. Inhale, I'm gonna raise my right leg, step it forward. Picking up my hand weights. Maybe I step both feet forward and I come into a lunge, high lunge position. My back knee underneath my hip, my weight in my front heel. This time a front raise, so I'm gonna lower and front raise as I lift. Keeping the weight in my front heel. My abs are in, my chest is lifted, and I'll raise my arms to shoulder height. Breathing. Four to go. Control. We have that twist coming. One more. Back is straight. And now I hold. Bring my weights together. Step forward. Turn to the right. All my weights on my right leg. I step back down deeper in my lunge. Trying to stay low as I turn. Only my waist, not my hips. Twist, center, step back. Abs in, breathe through. You got this. Six, control, five, breathing. Four, abs are in, three, two, two more, even out, last one, I'm going to step back, hold and bring my chest down, drop the weights. Drop my back heel, front knee stays bent, still and active, warrior one. Breathe. Trying to bring my back left hip forward. Shoulders down. Left hand on the left thigh, looking towards my right arm. Reverse warrior. Breathe. Inhale up, windmill around. Hand inside the foot. Slide the back foot further back, side plank, open. Make sure left hand's under the shoulder, lift and lower the hips. If needed, put the knee down. Breathe. Six to go. Six, five, squeezing that left underside, four. Breathe through, three. Exhale, two. Last one, and I'm gonna come to plank. Lowering down. Into my upward dog cobra, and back to downward dog. Gazing to my hands as I step or hop forward. Release over the legs and inhale halfway. Lowering down, I'll bend my knees, pick up my weights, and stand tall. Chest lift, shoulders back. Opening the feet, we squat again and stand. Tail back, abs in, chest up. We keep moving. Weight is in the heels, 
heat is building. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Opening our feet. Back to that plie or wide position. Elbows in front, down, curl up. Inhale, exhale. Breathing. Weights in the heels for four. Controlling, three, two, I'm gonna pulse down and alternate my arms, staying low. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm gonna hold it down. Put the weights down, lower my knees down. Comfortable position and sit back to child's pose. Arms can go forward, hips move back. As I come up, I'm gonna keep my right knee down. Maybe I need to pan under it a little bit. Take my left foot out. The instep lines up with the right knee. I'm gonna take a weight into my left hand, optional. More important, my right hand's under my right shoulder. I'm gonna rest the weight on the thigh, flex the foot, and raise the leg up and down. Lifting from the outer thigh, and if needed, a slight bend in the knee. Abs in as I lift, both sides of the waist are engaged. Stay with me, full breaths, flex your foot, six, five, four, three, two, I'm gonna hold it up, point my toe in circles forward, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and I'm gonna circle back. My leg that's down, my right glute is active, squeezing, but I'm also working the left outer thigh, hip, and glute. Four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna rest that leg down. Taking my left arm up and bending my elbow, behind my head, my elbow stays over my shoulder and I'm extending to a tricep. I can stay with this or add <clears throat> lifting that side leg again. Exhale, inhale. 10, nine, eight, breathing, seven, six, Control, five, abs in, four, three, exhale, two, last one, the foot will lower, carefully you'll lower the weight down, come all the way up, taking your left hand inside of the left foot and turning the toes out. Keep your foot flat or flex. Don't float it around. Take your right arm by your ear and exhale over lateral stretch. Pull the arm slightly behind the ear. Inhale, exhale, relax the arm. Inhale, raise the arm, shoulder down. Exhale, over reach, keep the abs engaged and see if you can lift the left arm pull. Belly is pulled in. Six, five, arms are reaching. Two, hold it, squeeze the right oblique. Up you come, lower down and bring the knee in. Switch 
side. Head underneath that left knee if you need. Right hand steps in line with that knee. Right hand holds the weight. Left hand under your shoulder. Rest the weight on the outer thigh so that you're lifting the weight with the thigh. Raise, lower. Flex the foot. It's a small range. We're not touching down to the mat. Breathe. Pulling my abs in, tightening around my waist and obliques. Six, breathing. Five, trying not to have a lot of weight on my left arm and wrist. So I'm lifting. Three, feeling that right outer thigh, hip, and glute. And now I'm going to hold it up, point my toe circles forward. Eight, seven, six, small. Three, two, and I reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to lower the foot down and bring the elbow or arm up. Bend the elbow, elbow over the shoulder, and straight up. So down, I can lift my leg and lift. Down and up. Ten. Tricep, nine, breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, final one. I'm going to rest the leg down and bring the arm down. From here, I'm going to come up and turn my right foot out. Foot is flat, or foot is flex. Right hand's inside, left shoulder down. Inhale the left arm up, exhale over. Inhale up, lower the arm. Again, inhale, arm by the ear. Exhale over, hold. Abs in, see if you can lift the right arm up. Pull the belly in, breathe. Hold. Squeeze the left oblique. Up you come. Lower the arms down. Bring the knee in. Get those hand weights. Step forward one foot at a time. Turn the feet out. Tail low. Bring the chest up. And we go up right row. Lift. Lower. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze behind those shoulder blades. Abs are in. Eight. Control. Seven. Six. Keeping the movement. Five. Four. Breathing. Three. Two. Last one. And the weights come down. I'll straighten my legs up. Turning my toes in and stepping to the right. From here, I'm going to side lunge to the left. Bringing my knee up and overhead press with the weights. So I'm going to side lunge. Come up. Press overhead. Take it down if I want. Lift my knee and balance. Get a rhythm. Breathe. Sit your left glute back. Abs in. Chest up. Keep moving. 15. Abs in. Bring the weight all the way up. Over that right leg. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, weights are optional, 6, 5, breathing, 4, 3, Two, hold it, Woo. and lower, 
Stand on your right foot. Take your left foot back. Warrior three. Find balance. So I'm going to put one weight down. Hold one weight. Find my balance. Bring it in. Bend the elbows. Straight arms out. Bend the elbows. Bring it in. Keep going. Six more if I prefer. I can go without a weight. Without a weight, my arms can go high. Back above my head if I choose. Or I can still pull my arms in and lower down. Three more. Breathing. Keep the weight in the right heel. Do not grab the mat with the right toes. One more time. Breathe. The weight will increase the work into the arms, of course. And rest. Bend at your knees. Pick up the other weight. And over to the left side. We do our side lunge to the right. Here we go. Down. Toe down. Press up. Or knee lift balance. Press up. Whatever I choose, I want all my weight to shift over to that left leg. So abs are working because I'm balancing. All right, we're gonna bring that tempo up if we can. Here we go. If you need, stay with a slower tempo. Up back. Abs in. You got this. Exhale as you lift. Hold. Good job. Release. One way down. Standing on my left foot. Warrior three, my right hip points down. Bending my elbows, pulling in and lowering. Toes are spread on the left foot. I breathe. If I prefer, I have the weight down. Arms are by my ears. So it's wherever you're comfortable with. Arms can stay high as you stand. Or you can bend those elbows to bring it in. Breathe. Focus. One more time. Find that balance. Good job. Back at the front of your mat. Bend at your knees and put the weight down. From here. Inhale. Swan dive. Exhale down. Inhale. Halfway. Lightning bolt. Exhale. Lower. Step or hop back. Plank. Lower down. Upward dog cobra. Downward dog. Pedal out the feet. We're going to be taking the same knee to the same elbow on the outside externally rotating and hitting again into those abs. Both heels back and the right knee to the right elbow. Forward, back. Exhale, inhale. Ten. Squeeze the right oblique. Nine. Breathing. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And hold. Place the foot down. Pedal out the feet again. Breathe. Hey, what happened to my music?
Good. Switching. Right to the other side. Ready? Sorry, guys. Don't know what happened there. And 12. 11. 10. Knee to the elbow. 9. 8. Abs in. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Keep your butt low. 2. When you come forward. 1. And lower all the way down to the mat. Rest for a moment. First break. Hands behind you. Navel towards the spine. Pelvis to the mat. Lift. Salabhasana. Locust pose. Maybe clasp the hands behind the back. Raise the thighs higher. Bend the knees. Heels to the glutes. Extend the legs. Bend the knees, heels to the glutes, extend the legs. Two more breathing. And last one. Extend the legs out. Draw them together. Hands at the sides of your chest. Upward dog cobra. Sit back to your heels. Wide knee child's pose. Arms forward. You're going to come up to your hands and knees. Have your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Extend your left leg back, toe points down, lift the leg and lower, and make sure that the weight is back towards the right glute. Abs in as you lift. Exhale, inhale. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you pulse at the top, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to hold that leg up and move the hand weight into my right hand for a tricep kick back. I'm going to extend and bend if I want more of a challenge. I'll lower and lift to a plank pose and tricep kick back. Here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm going to lower the weight down. Take the leg that's still lifted over and back. If you were in a plank, you're back on the knees. Keep going over and back. The higher you lift up, the more you're going to engage and feel the work in the right glute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. And you're going to rest and bring the knee in and sit back to the heel. Child's pose to switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Extending the right leg back, the weight into the left glute. Move the hands closer to the body if needed. Up and down with that leg. Make sure the hands are under the shoulder. Exhale, inhale. Squeeze your glute as you lift. Abs in as you lift as well, of course. Always working. Nine. Eight. Toes point down. Seven. Squeezing six. Five. Four. Three. Two at the top pulse. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. 
the weight is in your left hand and you kick back, 12. Or you're in a plank, 11, 10, 9, hips are square and down, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the leg stays lifted, you come down onto the knee if you were off of it, take it over, out, cross, back, further you cross over, more you're going to feel in the left glute, breathe, 8, get the leg up high, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. Bring your knees wide so you're on the inside of the knees. Gently sit back, be very careful here. Shift the weight forward. Shift the weight back. Groin, stretch, stretch, shift forward, shift back. You can lower your chest down if you're comfortable. Shift forward and back, and you can let your knees splay open wider. Try and keep your heels in line with your knees. So two right angles. Breathe. Only go to the degree that is comfortable for your body. From here, slowly lift your chest up. Carefully bring your knees in. Turn if you are on your mat let long and come back to downward dog. Hips high and inhale, take the left leg towards the ceiling. Exhale and bring the knee up between the hands for pigeon. Chest is lifted, sit tall. From here, take a hand weight into your right hand and your left hand's either inside your knee or on top of your knee. Be careful not to arch your back. So you want to be leaning in a slight diagonal. You'll raise your right arm, front raise. Seven, six, from the shoulder, five, four, breathing, three, two, and one. You'll release down. If it bothers your right uh, left knee, sit your hip down, move your foot forward. That's another way to deepen. Lean a little bit to the right and lower your chest down. Hold here. Nice full breath. Keep extending back longer and longer in lengthening in your right leg. If you'd like to deepen, you can take your right arm under your left for thread the needle, keeping the arm away from the head and face, turning your head to look to the left, and that will increase that glute stretch and also open up behind the right shoulder. If you prefer, stay on the elbows and you can just guide or direct your upper body slightly towards the left knee or front knee. Same thing to get a deeper stretch. Coming back to centering, lift your chest, curl your toes under, and your back to downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Switching sides, inhale, raising the right leg up, exhale, knee comes up between the hands. Extending long in your back left leg, chest is lifted, right hand inside of the knee or on top of the knee, and the left hand holds the weight. Abs in and we front raise for eight. Shoulder height, seven. Abs in as you lift, six. Breathing, five. With control, four. Three, exhale, two, and one. You'll lower down, 
Adjusting the knee if needed. Same, possibly at the other side. Leaning over to the left and lowering down. You'll rest here. If comfortable to thread the needle, you will take your left arm under your right as you turn to the right and rest to the shoulder, keeping it away from the face. If that is not a comfortable position, you can stay on the elbows and just direct your upper body torso to or towards that right knee. Find where you get a better stretch. Breathe. Coming back to the center and lifting the chest. This time I just want you to sit your right glute down, carefully bending your left knee and bringing it forward. So as you bring it forward, the knee is going to be right in front of the shin or it can cross over. So wherever you're comfortable, you're going to have your right hand behind you, excuse me, left hand behind you and your right arm raises by your ear. And then you're going to hug the knee and turn to the left. Maybe you hold on to that big toe or you bind your arms. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale as you twist and rotate. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you twist and rotate. And then as you come back, the left hand's inside the leg, the right hand's behind, and you counter twist in the other direction. Now, of course, we're going to switch sides. So, extend the leg, draw that heel under, bring the opposite heel in front of the shin or cross it over as long as it stays flat. Your right hand's behind, inhale, inhale as your left arm lifts, and then exhale, go into your twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, rotate. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, rotate. Again, maybe hold on to the uh, foot. Breathe, keep your back right shoulder down. Nice twist here. Inhaling and exhaling. As you come back to the front, you're going to have your right hand inside your right leg. Counter twist as you gently turn to the left. Now, back to the center. You do not need your weights, but you're going to bring your feet back up to the top of your mat. Also, bring your glutes towards your heels. And then slowly begin to descend down onto your back. So as you come down onto your back, extend your arms out like a T and bring your legs towards the ceiling straight. Flex your feet. If needed, a slight bend in the knees is okay. Bring the legs together over to the left. Right shoulder staying down. Squeeze the right oblique and come up. Go to the other side. Left shoulder down. Squeeze the left oblique and come up. Continue back and forth six more times. Stomach churning pose. Five. We work the abs throughout the class. Or starting to finally bring it, the heat down, the rhythm down. Three. Nice full breaths. Two. Finishing. And now the legs stay towards the ceiling and the fingers reach towards the feet. You exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Lift and lower. If you need support behind your head, put your 
hands behind your head. Keep going and breathe. Up and down. Ten. Pull the ribs in and down. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You'll hug the knees to the chest. Hands inside the feet. Bend the knees and rock back and forth. Happy baby, or just hug the knees to the chest and circle them around. If you are circling, make sure you change direction. Today I'm going to give you an option to end in an inversion, whatever that might be for you. Maybe it's a shoulder stand or a headstand or a shoulder bridge. Shoulder bridge, feet are flat, lift your hips up, abs are in, tuck your shoulders under so you're off of your spine. Clasp your hands under your glutes or walk your heels closer, hold your heels or ankles, lift your hips high, squeeze your glutes, back of the neck is long, chin is soft towards your chest. You may stay here. Shoulder stand, your hands go under your hips, your legs go towards the ceiling flexing your feet and pulling your legs back above your hips, not over your head. So walk your hands higher up your back, creating more space. Keep the back of the neck long, abs are in, breathe. Now if you are in a shoulder stand, well, if you're in a headstand, you know when you come out, you go to child's pose. If you're in a shoulder stand, you can take one leg or both together over your head for halasana or plow pose. And then you can bend your knees or legs can stay straight, but you slowly descend down, not flopping, using your abdominals to control. If you were in the shoulder bridge, you unroll the shoulders and come down also one vertebra at a time. Wherever you are, begin to make your way down. And then prepare yourself for some relaxation. So relax your shoulders, might fidget and move around a little, turning your palms towards the ceiling. You can extend your legs and allow a pillow to rest behind the backs of the knees, which is a very comfortable position to release in your lower back. Or just extend your legs long. and allow the knees and feet to fall apart. You may also stay with knees bent and feet flat. Wherever you are, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. As you continue to breathe, Soften the breath, breathing in and out through your nose. Taking full, deep, cleansing breaths. Bring in thoughts of peace. 
thoughts of relaxation. Focus. Let out the negative thoughts, stress, tension, and anxiety. Think back to your youth and remember how easy it was to find joy in every day by riding a bike really fast or jumping into a pile of leaves. What types of things bring you that kind of joy today? Seek them out. The smiles and laughter they bring will help you connect with others and fill your heart with happiness. Think about four things that made you happy as a child and ask yourself what kinds of things bring you that joy now. And make it a point to indulge in any one of them this week. Cast your net of love wide and invite a friend or family member to join you. Bring yourself to that place or with that person or people that make you smile and bring you joy. Begin to wiggle slowly through the fingers and toes. Starting to move deeper into the hands and the feet. And even further into the arms and the legs. And as you feel comfortable, draw the knees one at a time into the chest. Roll to your right side and into your fetal pose. Knees and arms relaxing, same side of the body. And slowly make your way to your seated position. Sit tall with the chest lifted and the heart open. And join your hands together at heart center, thumbs connecting to your chest as you inhale. Exhaling to softly bow forward to the essence of yoga within you. I thank you for taking me on your yoga journey and I wish you peace and joy in your many journeys ahead. Wherever they may take you and lead you, 